Hey, I hope you've had a chance to watch the three-part series we've had on drawing accurately. And, uh, and I hope it's been useful for you. I wanted to let you know that there's so much more information. It's always hard to, uh, you know, share everything that can be said uh, in a little series like this. And, and yet that's my tendency. I like to just, you know, give you every opportunity I possibly can, you know, to learn and to be able to have something that's useful for you. Uh, I wanted to let you know, though, that there's this DVD series that's out. And uh, it goes into quite a bit more depth than the, uh, the, the series that you've just watched. I'm going to have that right in front of my face. And, uh, and it takes it slower. It builds right from the start. Uh, if you have uh, the opportunity to have the tools uh, in your arsenal, they'll last forever, it, it just about. I guess you have to buy a new pencil. But one of the things you may not be familiar with is the divider. This is such a great tool. <laughs> I keep putting it in front of my face. This is such a great tool, and sometimes people get confused. They think it's a, it's a, uh, a compass. It's not. This is something that just spreads like this. And this is a wonderful opportunity to do comparative measurements so that you can keep things in proportion and see where maybe you've made a mistake. If you have a straight edge, uh, it's not always necessary to have a, a two-foot one, but that's nice too. This is 18 inches. It has a wonderful opportunity to give you that uh, ability to take uh, angles from your reference right into your drawing and to do it accurately. Naturally, you'll need a pencil. And, uh, and isn't that uh, something you can use almost any pencil, I guess. But uh, that is really important. And then if you have a good eraser, there might be, there might be a number of them. I love the kneaded eraser. If you haven't uh, put your lines on too dark, this is a great. You can get them off you know, just fine. But uh, all of this uh, is in the DVD series. Let me just give you a little peek as to what is uh, going to be covered in there uh, as we lay out some of the important foundations of almost any drawing. We want to know, you know, little things like is it angled or tilted a certain way. Uh, we want to be able to have opportunities to find those key elements that maybe we can start building on. And we can take it uh, to the next level and start uh, developing even the lines that correspond with each one of those little uh, reference points. And we can put a reference point anywhere we want. With this method, if I wanted to have, uh, you know, uh, a, another separate element out here uh, that doesn't even belong to her, uh, I can go ahead and put it on there too. Uh, maybe it's uh, somebody with a baseball mitt on and you want to be able to know that you can do the face accurately and, uh, and the baseball mitt as well. And so this is an opportunity for you to be able to capture anything uh, along that line. Let's take a look at this one. This you can start seeing the image develop right here. I think that's great because the quicker I can start seeing something, the better it is. And this is very much like maybe when you were a kid or something, uh, you used to do a dot to dot. As you have more and more information, you can start connecting the dots. I like to always reference what that dot represented, so that's why I have a little angle that's very similar to my reference. And, uh, and then we have the opportunity to come in and really start developing it, even to the point of uh, putting a little value. Uh, some of the things that I approach in my five uh, uh, free lessons are some of those very basic things about how to gain depth just as quick as you possibly can. And I always enjoy that myself because I, I like to have that sense of this is developing into something. I can start seeing it, uh, you know, develop depth and dimension, and I see the proportions all correctly. And it's starting to take on an attitude even in a simple level. It's starting to take on a form that actually starts communicating to me. And I want to have that as soon as I possibly can. I like it better than just working right across the uh, drawing and hoping that the other side is going to be, you know, have just as much impact and it's going to be balanced with the rest of the drawing. And in this way and with my method, uh, this helps you start having that opportunity to, uh, uh, you know, build it uh, gradually and yet all balanced so that you can start having uh, an opportunity to stop wherever you want. It's not always necessary to take it to the nth degree. And, uh, and then uh, I go ahead and tell you about how to clean up your drawing too. It's really important, I think, to be able to uh, see things precisely. We can take all those lines off if we've put them down right. And, 
And so some of the cleanup and things are important, uh, being able to start, you know, being able to focus in on the actual elements that we're drawing. And uh, so anyway, this has a lot of information. Always love to, you know, tell you as much as I can, as I said before. And uh, I, I want you to go away feeling empowered, feeling like you have that confidence now, that you have a method that uh, will not only help in laying out a drawing, but it'll help you start viewing your subject differently. It'll help you uh, start seeing things that might go wrong. And now you have the tools to be able to find where it got off just a little bit. Uh, proportion is always so important. And if we can establish that great foundation right from the start, uh, everything will flow so much better. And you'll have a chance now to express what you're trying to draw. And, uh, and that's what it's about, being able to not only create the thing in the first place, but to be able to have it speak and have it be able to be this dimensional object if we possibly can. Not everything has to have dimension, but proportion, I think, is probably one of the key things. And that's one of the first things that people see when they look at uh, your drawing or something's bothering you. You go to somebody and say, what's wrong? What's wrong? This will help solve a lot of that. So I hope you'll take advantage of the DVD uh, series. And uh, if you uh, like it, uh, please share it with your friends. And uh, look forward to the opportunity to share something else with you in the future. Always love your responses. Uh, we always have an opportunity to say, you know what, I think this is something we need to address. So keep talking to us. Leave a, a comment uh, below the video or any opportunity you have. And uh, we'll see you in the next opportunity, the next video. Bye-bye. Hi there, this is Jeremy with the 5 Pencil Method team, and I have a sneaking suspicion that if you watched this video or any in, in this series on drawing with greater accuracy, you've had some trouble laying out your drawings. Um, and even beyond laying out your drawings, maybe you've gotten to the end and realized that, that things weren't accurate and it's thrown off your entire drawing. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's really no reason to keep suffering through that. Um, the straight edge and divider method is a proven method. It's worked for Daryl over the past 40 years. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was created and refined by Daryl over these past 40 some years. And so it's worked for him. It's worked for thousands of students from all around the world, uh, different ages, different points in their artistic journeys, and uh, it can work for you. And like we said, now and for a short time only, we are offering this five class series at 50% off. Plus, for an even shorter period of time, we're throwing in a free set of Blick Studio drawing pencils. Uh, these are Daryl's go-to pencils, the ones that he uses to draw pretty much all of his portraits and uh, different illustrations. So, again, this is only for a short time, and uh, if you want to learn more about this discount, if you'd like to learn more about the series, just click on the link. You can click right here on the page or click on the link below the video. So thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it, and we can't wait to hear from you. Take care.